All right, today we're looking at how to add and subtract radicals. Uh, once again, before we do that, I've got two problems that I want you to, two roots that I want you to put in simplest radical form. Uh, so do that, pause, and then come back. Okay, I'm going to assume that you have done that. Uh, now for me, I, I don't think I can do this without, uh, you know, just resorting to making a factor tree for these. Um, so here, 2 and 48, then uh, 2 and 24, 2 and 12, 4 and 3, and then another pair of 2s. Uh, so I get that this is the square root of 2 squared times 2 squared and then I've got a leftover 2 and a 3. So I get 4 times the square root of 6. 4 times the square root of 6. Okay? Uh, for the next one, I'm going to need to use a factor tree again. I, I think I know uh, what perfect square goes into here, but I'm not going to take the chance there. Uh, I know it doesn't divide by 2, but it definitely uh, divides by 3. Uh, 3 and 81. Oh, I kind of found my perfect square now, so that, that was kind of a happy accident that I did that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump to perfect squares method. You could keep going with the factor tree if you want, but I know 81 is a perfect square, so I'm just going to do that. And I get 9 times the square root of 3. Beautiful. Okay, so hopefully you got both of those right. Uh, if you didn't, probably need to come talk to me pretty soon. Uh, so now, just recall how we add and subtract variables when we're talking about like combining like terms. Like if we have uh, 3x plus 4y minus 6x plus 2y, we would get negative 3x plus 6y. Right? Uh, the same thing is going to be true when we're talking about roots. We kind of want to treat the number under the root like a variable. So here would be the comparison I would make. If we had 3 square root of 2 plus 4 square root 5 uh, minus 6 square root 2 plus 2 square root 5. See how I put the root 2's in for x's and the root 5's in for y's? We get basically the same thing here. We get negative 3 square root 2 uh, plus 6 square root 5. You can only add numbers together that have the same number under the root. Okay? Uh, so that's, that's huge. Like we can't, we, we can't simplify this anymore. We're just done. Uh, the other big key is that you want to simplify each root first. Okay? Uh, like if you look at that first problem, if you don't do any simplification, we can't add the square root of 18 with the square root of 8. So you want to simplify each of those roots as much as possible first. So let's look at that problem. Uh, simplify the square root of 18 and the square root of 8, and then you can pause and come back if you want to. All right, so hopefully you simplified each of these correctly. I'm using perfect squares method here, and I get 3 square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 2. See, now that I've simplified, now I do have like terms that I can add, so I can add my 3 and my 2, and I get 5 times the square root of 2. Okay, I'm going to do the same exact thing for the next one. Again, I need to simplify first, because right now, I don't have any like terms. Okay, so simplifying first, 27 is 9 and 3. 12 is 4 and 3. I get 9 times the square root of 3, because square root of 9 is 3, and 3 times 3 gets me 9. And then I get 4 square root of 3 for the same reason over here. Subtract my numbers, I get 5 times the square root of 3. Okay? So, uh, you got a couple that you need to try on your own. Uh, take all of the problems on the back of your note sheet. Go ahead and try these on your own. 
uh, pause and then come back. There's just there's just two of them back there. Okay, so I'm going to jump to the good stuff here. So uh, again, I will try to do as good a job as I can of showing my work. I get 12 square root of 2 minus 5 square root of 2. I can subtract those, and I get 7 square root of 2. I'm going to bring this problem up here just so I don't have to scroll down. 75 is 25 and 3. 12 is 4 and 3. And 8 is 4 and 2. So I get 5 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3 minus 4 square root of 2 because that square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. I can only subtract these first two from each other and get 3 square root of 3. I cannot combine with the other one, so I just don't combine those like terms. So this is really it for adding and subtracting. Uh, the key is that you need to simplify the root first, okay, and then you need to figure out which ones are like terms and combine them. Um, and again, remember, these combine similar to variables, so like 5x minus 2x would be 3x. 5 squared to 3 minus 2 squared to 3 is 3 squared to 3. That, just like the variable doesn't change, the number under the root doesn't change either.